Attention, people with Hashimoto's. I have some exciting research to share with you. Something that may help your thyroid to heal. Now, as you know, I am not a doctor. I don't want to be a doctor. I don't want to be your doctor. So I'm not treating or prescribing or recommending um, anything. I am a layman researcher. This is my personal testimony. And I recommend that no matter what I say, you talk to your doctor, show him this research or her this research, and ask their opinion if you should try this or not. Your health is truly different than mine. And only you and your doctor are going to know what's right for you. Okay? So now that we've got that out of the way... <laughs> For people with Hashimoto's, did you know regular use of a low-level laser red light therapy may help to reduce thyroid peroxidase antibodies, improve your T3-T4 ratio, improve immune response, regenerate thyroid tissue, reduce pain, reduce inflammation, and support thyroid function. Hashimoto's thyroiditis, also known as HT, is both a B-cell and a T-cell mediated organ-specific autoimmune disease. It is caused by an autoimmune attack of the thyroid gland and characterized by the presence of thyroid peroxidase antibodies and thyroglobulin antibodies. Now, I have Hashimoto's, okay, so this is right down my alley, but red light therapy is being studied as a possible treatment. Um, like I said, I've got it, and I've been looking at this research, so I tried some things um, that I read about, and it worked for me. I got my temperature regulation back. I'm so excited to share. So I, um, it's, it was very inexpensive, it, it was not medicinal, and so I wanna share what this study shows and how it worked. Um, so the study itself is, has a really long link, and so I did a little short link to it um, so that I could speak it and you could hear it and type it down. So it's, I, the short link I did is tinyurl.com backslash thyroid red light. If you go there, it should take you right to the study. But I will link it down below as well. Um, but this is a placebo-controlled study with a nine-month follow-up and conducted from 2006 to 2009. 43 patients um, were assigned to either 10 sessions of red light therapy or placebo. And the, suggest the study actually suggested that laser light therapy was effective in healing the thyroid. And nine months later, they went back and checked with these people. And nine months later... Um, they they didn't need the medicine or they needed way lower amounts of it. So that's how they kind of measured if they needed the, um, or how, how well it did was um, they were using the levothyroxine, which is, the, you know, that's the medicine and how much of a dose those people needed at nine months afterwards determined how healed their thyroid was. And so this study showed that the red light therapy sessions really heal the thyroid for most people. Now, like I said, I, I have Hashimoto's. I was freezing cold all the time um, for years. I would have to, especially in the winter, I would have to wrap myself up with an electric blanket and then get under the covers. <laughs> like, and then, and then I, I felt chilled to the bone. Like my bones were cold. I just couldn't get warm. And so um, for me, the temperature regulation was one of the annoying side effects of Hashimoto's. Well, um, so after I did, I, I got a red light therapy belt. It was a very inexpensive, 50 bucks on Amazon. And I just did, I'm like, well, why, why wouldn't I try this? Like, you know, red light therapy is not gonna harm me. So I laid it across my neck at night and I would do a 20 minute session. And I did this, I did 10 sessions, and I was planning on doing more if I needed to, but after the 10 sessions, maybe one or two days later after the 10th session, I don't know what it is about that magic 10 session number, but that's what the study was. They must have kind of known they were seeing effects around 10 sessions. Um, but after that 10th session for me, a couple days later, I realized, ooh, I'm warm. I'm like hot, I'm, I'm like not freezing cold. Oh my goodness. And at night, I didn't need an electric blanket. And I was like, oh, I wonder how long this is going to last. A week later, I'm still warm. I still have my body temperature. Two weeks later, three weeks later. I mean, it's like six months later now. And I still have it. 
And I haven't been doing repeated sessions. I know I've thought about it. I still have the belt. So I'm like, and I've been using that on other things now on my face, on my skin. I'm like, like, it's so good for so many things. So I'm using it all, you know, a lot, but I haven't been putting it on my thyroid. Um, but I haven't got, I haven't needed. I have my temperature regulation is still good and strong. So I'm telling you, this is a really, really, it was really great for me. And um, so I just want people to know about it because I wouldn't have known. My doctor wouldn't have known. Doctors don't have time to stay up on research, especially on things like this that aren't medicine related. So they're just not going to know. So this is something. Go check out the link. Go check out the research. And then if you have Hashimoto's, go talk to your doctor. See if getting a cheap little red light. I mean, there's expensive red lights. You could go get a really um, expensive $1,000 red light. But I literally tried a $50 light, um, a belt that I can use for other things. I can have an injury. I can wrap it around my leg or my hip or whatever. Um, but I just opened it up and laid it on my thyroid and laid there at night when I was going to sleep for 20 minutes. And did that uh, probably every other day or every two or three days I did one until I had done it 10 times. And I am telling you, <laughs> really wonderful things happen. So I just want the world to know. This is a, another possible way to help support your thyroid health, and the studies show that it is very healing. All right, thanks so much, and I'll see you next time here at the Natural Health Researcher channel.